Hey guys, Tolo here. And we are here playing Rift. Yeah. Uh, this is the sixth beta, I believe. Uh, and I haven't played it as much as you see. I'm only level 7 uh, warrior. But uh, I'm basically here to show you the game. Um, it's not a game I'm personally going to play, but uh, I figured it could be fun to try something new in a beta. So, and uh, if you guys are wondering about the uh, slow, uh, why the graphics are all slow and uh, such, it's because I am currently rendering out a World of Warcraft video, and and I am also um, well, I'm also um, uploading or. Sorry, what? I, I'm also downloading a game on Steam at the moment. So, well, let's pl create a character. Uh, if it didn't want to be that slow. Yep, uh, basically the good and the evil. But I, as, a, uh, as far as I understand it, none of them are evil. They just have each of their own uh, uh, point of view, just as religion. Uh, the Muslims have one point of view, the Christians have another point of view, but who cares? I'm uh, neither of them, but uh, unfortunately I cannot choose any neutral, so I'm going to pick... Uh, let's go with the uh, Defiance. I'm going to be... We have uh, many choices, different races. I think I'm going to pick this big guy, of course they, they have some racial abilities. He can this one got uh, leaves in the select area, just like heroic leap for a warrior, I believe. Uh, and there's some strength and some resistance. All right, that sounds good enough to me. Uh, we can be a warrior, mage, rogue, and a cleric. Well, I already tried a warrior, so let's pick a mage. And he can be—he's a huge guy, but uh, he can be even bigger. Oh, that's the eyes. Uh, never mind uh, the height. There we go. He's a small or a big. Let's make him big. And I'm uh, kind of happy with the skin color. Um, you can have all so sorts of hair. Pretty cool. But I think I'm going to be the hairless dude. And uh, of course, you can have different markings as well. That one, that seems uh, pretty suitable. And you can uh, change the colors as you see here for the hair, if I had any. Oh, of course the beard. Let's take this kind of black, brownish. Highlight, color, nah, I'm not going to change that. Everything seems fine with me, scale, the eyes, you can make them all funny looking. Let's make them somewhere in the between. I browse, you can switch that as well. There's so many different ways. Just with the mouth. Well, this seems pretty good to me. Let's call the character Tolo and go to the next. The, the character name you selected is already in the use. Please choose another name. Who dares take my name? Darn it, guys. Let's just uh, pick a random name. Digging. Yeah, that's, that's fine with me. Next. And something is totally fucking up on my computer. Oh, there we go. We couldn't stop them. Um, it's too laggy with the video recording, rendering in the background, and downloading at the same time. It probably shouldn't be the best, but oh well, guys. If you want to ch check that video out, you should probably just go s search for it on YouTube. Uh, defiant uh, intro video or something and I'm sure somebody has uploaded it or maybe you can even see it on the website if you're not already in the beta so anyways yep here we are without any abilities the movement is just like in World of Warcraft it seems seems pre pretty good graphics are known to be a little bit better but uh of course, you can never really say that it's better because World of Warcraft has its own unique style, in my opinion. Um, but oh well, if I wanted to play World of Warcraft, I would be playing World of Warcraft. So this is just to be testing out. 
let's go up to this guy, to speak life. with him, born again, and I get to choose one of the uh, different classes. Of, in this game you can bring three different uh, classes at the same time, and as you know, I pick the mage and I get a select amount of abilities, but I now get to choose a little bit further. And it uh, even says what it's good with, so... Let's pick the um, Necromancer. That's the sort of warlock, I believe. So let's pick that. Now I've got uh, my first ability, and I can get to select two more races as well. Or classes, so that's be gonna be pretty cool. I can be a warlock, uh, rogue, hunter, or something. <laughs> well, we'll see in the future. And I'm kind of running the wrong way. Of course, you can put key bindings down, such so in every uh, MMORPG game, and you can do all sorts of fun stuff. But we are not going to do any of that, we're just going to try out the abilities, see how the graphic works, how the uh, world looks, and if it's anything for us at all. So there's a quest. I believe we uh, have already played through the very first quest this year. Um, and uh, we're just going to kill somebody, so that's uh, the standard uh, MMORPG quest. Go kill this and you receive this. And here's a kind of neat thing, up on the minimap you'll be able to see a circle for the area in which you can kill mobs that come for your quest. Now if only I could find some mobs, there we go, one mob, plague your bolt. Pew. I have so many abilities to select between. Oh well, loot. Oh yeah, two silver. I am. I believe they use somewhere the same. Uh, or oh, darn it, darn it. Uh, somewhere the same uh, names, controls, and uh, even uh, currency as a uh, World of Warcraft or any other MMO, MMO RPGs. Uh, not much difference there. Even in the trailer, I believe they are claiming that you're not an Azeroth anymore. So they are selective going out for the Blizzard customers because they want to want people to go away from World of Warcraft to this game. And of course, if it's just the uh, questing and the graphics you're after, I. Uh, uh, why don't I get any maps at all? That's annoying. Uh, I definitely see why you should try out this game, but uh, for the end game content, I'm not sure yet. For the PvP, I'm not sure yet. I just believe it can be very hard to um, to balance the game when uh, every player has uh, three different classes to uh, to uh, choose between and have the abilities of, and uh, there can be so many combinations that it even gets ridiculous. Two more mobs. One uh, MMORPG I'm really looking forward to is the Star Wars Online because that's uh, so much out of the ordinary that it's gonna be very interesting. And then again, uh, who doesn't like Star Wars? It's basically that something that uh, has been around for ages and uh, everybody who says old as me has kind of grown up with the new videos and everybody who is older than me has grown up with the old videos. Uh, it's as simple as that and that's gonna be hard to be competing with. Of course, World of Warcraft is uh, do dominant on the uh, market right now, but uh, I believe uh, Star Wars got a better chance than this game. I'm not saying this bad. The game is bad or anything because you can't really uh, uh, determine if it's anything uh, good or bad and from the low levels. It's just something that the individual player has to check out for themselves and see if they like. 
And I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Good is not enough. Good is not enough. Level up, level two. Blah 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 blah. Oh well, we got to activate some defense consoles to destroy some undead. And I believe that's uh, this uh, thing we have to click on. Click one, four more to go. Right, let's see if we can find them. Shouldn't be hard to find. There we go. So as far as I understand, it, uh, the main point in this game is uh, the rift. Yeah, you're supposed to run around in big raid groups and kill some rifts. Uh, it's a basically portals of some sort. I believe that uh, enemies come out of... Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, that's how the games uh, work and it really uh, opens up a lot for the public quests. If any of you guys have played uh, Warhammer, uh, you know what I'm talking about. You basically go into an area and you uh, get auto assigned into a raid group and you uh, get to kill these uh, certain monsters that uh, require definitely require more than one person. I even heard that you some of the mobs required 30, 40, even 50 people. And that's only what my friends at the school has been telling me and uh, what I have seen and read online. But uh, oh well. Here we go, that would be the last console. And we're going the other way, should be uh, out here, that way. Let's try out this ability. Oh, I can summon a skeleton. Skeleton, uh, whatever it is called. That's, that would kind of be useful to know from the start. Stupid me not looking at my abilities. Oh well, uh, mighty leap. Let's see what that's about. Kinda like a heroic leap, just a little bit uh, more goofing looking. I can do with that. What did I just receive? I received, received some sort of 200 weapons with some spell power and intellect on it. Let's take that weapon. Supposed to pick up this uh, package, deliver it somewhere. What? What just happened? I'm not going to push that button anymore. I'm going straight out for fight. We are going to kill ten mobs here. No, eight mobs. So that shouldn't be hard. One mob, more to go. Anyways guys, uh, this would be the end of the first part of this um, series with the Rift uh, movies. I'm going to uh, stop this one now and uh, go out and upload a World of Warcraft video and I'll be back in just a second uh, for the second part of the uh, Rift series here. So, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, leave a comment below and uh, we'll see you in the next part.